<laughs> what do you do to clean up broken glass? What do you do indeed? Um, let me get back to that. To clean out broken glass? Yeah, you broke broken glass right here. You mean on the floor? Yeah. Carpet. I'd vacuum it. Let's say some glass is broken on the carpet. Okay. Uh, what do you do to pick up that glass? Oh, well, you um, look and see what you do with the new protocols. I still uh, pick up the, sweep up the large pieces and then get the shock back to uh, suck up the little pieces. What is the shock back? Shock back. Shock back. Oh, it's a vacuum. How about a vacuum cleaner? What That's you do is you get a bulldozer. Out. No, I would just scoop it up. You knock over the building, and then you get a track hoe, and you scoop it up and you put it in the dumpster. A track hoe. So, Samuel, I am looking it up, and I don't see a TEC policy on cleaning broken glass. Blood and bodily fluids, but no glass. So what would you do? I would notify my safety officer. So when you look up glass cleanup on the internet, you get the hazardous drug control program. That sounds hazardous. It does. Well, maybe some of the things will still apply. Sweep any glass fragments into scoop and brush and place in ke chemo waste bag. Chemo waste bags. Okay. So Bing says to avoid using a vacuum cleaner. Avoid using a vacuum cleaner. Um, you know what? My friend had uh, um, a hailstorm break the glass into his house and uh, the insurance company replayed all of us, re repaired by removing all of the carpeting. What? There you go. You do not use a vacuum cleaner. It's not effective. So this is our standard patient room. And you'll see that, oh no, broken glass. What do we do? We have broken glass everywhere. And who knows what that fluid is coming out of that strange container. So the first step you need to do when you encounter broken glass is don't panic. The nearest authority will probably give you this, the Stohomish County Health District form. On this form, you'll fill out your name, your address, your date of birth, your zip code, and whichever sex and race you identify with. Broken glass is a reportable disease. It is confidential though, so don't worry. Always get your gloves on. Once your gloves are on, make sure you wash your hands with the nearest Purell. We'll lather it on there. Let it dry. Let just flap your hands just anywhere. All right, next we have this, what is this? Formulin? Well, this, whatever this is, it's spilled everywhere. So let's just go ahead and clean it up with one of the nearest tissues that we have available. <coughs> I don't know what this is, we'll just put it over there. Then you see we have blood. So how do we clean up the blood? You get a paper towel. And that ketchup should just come right off of that. <laughs> now we're down to just the glass. So the first step to clean up the glass is to take off the gloves because you have to push it together into a pile. The next step after you have your glass into a pile is to cover it with a paper towel. This preserves the confidentiality of the patient. This kind doctor has seen me for the stress of having to clean up that glass. He recommended that I fill out an employee L and I form, which brings us to our next step. Right this way. This is an the clinic receptionist, one of the best there is. Okay. Please, give me an L and I form. Okay, is that self-insured or uh, state? There you go. Thank it's you. Right in here. So you want the um, maroon, crimsony, right. it's not blue, folder. Remember, the report of accident should detail how the glass broke and the confidentiality paper towel that you set over it. Now that I have two to three months off from work due to stress, I'll be able to go back to getting Colin Kaepernick a job. That's all, thanks for watching. All right, Dr. Brogren, does wiping alcohol on your face help with acne?